everyone, Tracy Repchuk here, tracyrepchuk.com, and I'm going to be talking about LinkedIn, and now we're going to be taking a look at what are some fundamental things that you have to do as soon as you're setting up your account. So first, let's log in. That's the first thing you're going to be doing, because last time you, you created the fundamentals of your account as far as structure was concerned and now we're going to start to fill it. So here we go and this is what it looks like as soon as you pop in in most cases. And of course this is your update box where you're say where you will uh, talk about whatever it is you want to talk about today. Um, I could say for example uh, Yay, uh, made number one on Amazon across the board. Thank you. And in this case, that was Canada. And get your copy today. Okay, and that's it. Put a little clicky thing right there for yourself and share. Now, of course, when you start, you're not going to have a lot of people to share to. And um, that's not necessarily a bad thing just yet because we want to set up the profile first. Okay, so we're going to go to profile. I'll just click on this and give you a, a generic overview. And you'll see different elements. And we're going to cover about three major features today. All right, so I'm just going to uh, close this. It's talking about how a pile of people have endorsed me. I'm just going to shut that. Okay, so when you come in, it's going to tell you you're like 20% of your profile's done. The key is to get 100% of your profile uh, completely done. So it, it, may, it may display somewhere like here where it says profile strength, okay? All right, so we are going to, the first thing you're going to do is this section right here, okay? So I'm just going to click on edit. All right, and there's some key fields here. One is your picture. So you've got a little camera sitting there. So you can click on that and you can load in your picture. All right, make it a good one. Uh, get professional headshots. If you are a speaker, an author, you're going to networking events, anything like that, make sure that you get good photos done, okay? Um, again, this was a professional one. Now, in my case, I, you know, I, I just had, and again, this is a, a woman's thing. Um, we have it a little bit harder in that I've changed the color of my hair now. So I have to go get new headshots done once again. That's the other thing too, you know, keep them current. All right, so right here is your name, okay? So you'll put that in, and, and we briefly touched on some of these the other day, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna highlight them again because this area is is your gold mine right here. All right, good picture, uh, good opening here. You can say whatever fits. In my case, you know, I got my name, I got my maiden name, and I've I've written in the number of contacts uh, that I have. That's what 11,000 plus means. You'll see the connections. It only ever displays as high as 500, unlike Twitter, where, where you know it, it's constantly in people's faces how many followers, or followers that you have. So he, I'm putting this here simply because um, I'm in the top 1% of LinkedIn. So I want people to know that when they pop onto my uh, account and you will too once you get there. Then you see these little pencils? This is how you edit them, okay? And this is what you'll do here. So you can click on here. Now, this little area, I have completely filled mine. I want you to completely fill yours and I want you to be very clear and precise about what you want to be putting here. This is, of course, what you do in a precise form. So if I were to pop on your profile and I saw, okay, internet and social media strategist, if I need one of those, I'm going to keep reading. Um, in my case, I am constantly trying to appeal to people that will book me for media and people that will book me as a speaker. Um, and then later I have different methods I use to, to find clients, which we'll go over in a future segment. 
Uh, TV personality, I'm on news and media um, very often. Wanted to get online brand development in here to let people know that I'm not just a website developer. I take people from end to end in a very systematic and strategic way in that I start with your niche and your target and your brand. And then I make sure that that sweeps all the way through from end to end, all the way to your social media. Because so many times people's... Um, uh, online presence is completely disconnected. And so uh, that kind of tells people that there's a cohesive thought going here. I have my website sitting here. So if this is the only thing people pop in, boom, and they don't want to hang around LinkedIn, they can quickly pop out and really go and check me out. Um, not many people put this in here, so I would advise you to do that. And of course, I'm a best-selling author, so I've put that in there too. Again, this is about getting as much credibility and branding as you can into this one little section. And then here is the golden ticket line right here. And I'm going to click on edit and see what comes up. Um, oh, a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the key I want you to know is this right here. This is what it's popped me to, okay? See over here it says customize your public profile URL. Now a lot of case, a lot of times you'll see people have like a whole pile of numbers you never remember. It's because they don't know they can customize. Right here I've got LinkedIn.com. Okay, they they default this. Okay, this is the piece you get to modify right here and of course put your name or whatever your brand is in my case i'm the brand so uh, it's tracy repchuk my twitter's tracy repchuk my youtube's tracy repchuk my facebook's tracy repchuk all of it i want you to match all of those if you have a mismatch somewhere that means there's a disconnect in your brand and i want you to take a look and evaluate the direction you're going so you will see that it's sitting right here and now when you promote to people you would just promote this link right here because you can see it has all sorts of weird things you're going to promote that link and so i'll just show you here and copy that there and it should bring up the linkedin profile and this is what people will see okay and there we go and back all right so it's got some activity. The area you're going to be starting with is this one right here called the summary, okay? And this is about who you are. This area, again, should be crafted very specifically. Don't go grabbing anything random and putting it here. You want to methodically sell yourself in a very precise way. At the same time that you're almost educating them on why they need you, okay? So I've got, you know, Tracy Repchuk, international best-selling author and speaker in over 35 countries for online branded platforms. There's those keywords and social media integration helps experts to attract more clients, get more leads and make more money. If your websites aren't working for you, they're working against you. That's kind of all my tagline right there. When you, when you start to ultimately craft your, your one minute or your 30 second kind of elevator speech, this is what I use. So this is kind of your little elevator speech. Then I go into, uh, you know, a little bit of the pain here, you know, for many moving to the internet is exhausting. The reality though, is if you aren't on the internet, you are leaving money on the table, losing customers and are not leveraging one of the greatest mediums this world has ever had. So not necessarily at this moment about me. It's about uh, telling people and setting up the, the plan for why they need you and why they need to keep reading. Then I go back a little bit to me. So this is like a little bit of a dance, okay? So as an award-winning entrepreneur, yada, yada. And then let me show you the step-by-step -step process to utilize the internet properly, including social media, so that you can spend time on your business. You will be positioned as the expert and authority. And then again, just going into m a little bit more of me now. Then you'll see I have this section here called specialties and, um, you know, contact me and some of my appearances. 
I could actually beef that up a lot. And then more specialties. This is completely, these two sections here, I don't expect anybody to read them. What these are is for keywords. I've absolutely keyword stuffed my uh, summary right here. And this is why it's important to turn around and learn your keywords, because not only will you need them here, they you will need them in your website, in your meta tags, and in an entire structure of end to end of of where you want to pop up in the internet. Okay, so that's what this section is here. Then you, there is a tab up here, and let's see, I'm going to go back to, I think it's taking me out of the edit, and I'm going to show you this little button right here. So the background, here we go. Here's where your edit, when you guys come in from scratch, here's the other button here I want to show you. I want you to put at least two good videos in your LinkedIn profile. So if you click on this and it says add link, okay, that's how you do it. And what you will do is you will simply put in a YouTube video link of yours, okay? And that's how all of these right here have appeared in my LinkedIn profile. And then of course you can see more. And um, the majority of these are my TV appearances. And again, why do I have this? It's because that's who I'm appealing to. I want to be noticed as a thought leader, as a visionary. I'm looking for stages and I'm looking for TV appearances. And of course, I'm looking for keynotes. So corporate people are in here and that is an element that is attractive, is media appearances. So um, if you don't have any, uh, obviously that's not a problem. All you want to put here then is, is the best of what you have. Is there a video where you're teaching? Is there a video that um, you've put together that highlights some of your stuff? Things of that nature. All right. And then you're going down to your experience section. And again, I, I, I've had technically, I've had one job all my life. I was 19 years old, I started my company, and I've been doing it ever since, almost 30 years now. So um, I broke down what I do into, into these categories. So I'm you know, international best-selling author, and pretty well I talk about my book. And again, you see loading in videos, very important. Uh, kind of my promo video, and in this one, it would have been my uh, promo and media reel. Okay, so this is like a, a blitz reel right here. Then I talk about internet, social media, speaker, consultant, coach, and mentor. Again, broken it down. Here's again where you can add videos. Okay. And again, you can add videos to every single one of these sections and, uh, and then just break them down. Uh, go as far as you want to, as much as your background as you want. But the key is he, what you're doing here is you're leveraging keywords and you're leveraging your experience. Okay. And then I, I loaded in a thing here. They had this section called projects. I used it to load in a success story. All right. So you can do that. And again, just keep doing it. Publications brought up my book brought up some of my other guides that I have. And again, I could be adding far more to this. Uh, brought up that I'm a certified management accountant, so it asks for certifications. This is a cool area right here. This is going to happen organically in that people will come, they'll see you, they'll know you, they'll start to follow you, and ultimately they'll start to recommend. Um, I think in this case I have... I don't know, seven, 8,000 recommendations from uh, various people because this section alone has far more than 99. It maxes out at 99. And so far more people have recommended me um, than that for these particular skills and expertise. This, of course, helps you get ranking with uh, LinkedIn because they see that people are, are endorsing you. So third party is, is more important than yourself. And, um, and it shows that you have a lot of followers that are paying attention to what you do. And then here are some subcategories that haven't hit the top rankings. Put in your education. I should get, uh, oh, there it is. You know, so I went to Sheridan College and McMaster University. Put in your additional interest, personal, whatever you kind of want to put in down here. Honors and awards. Um, any organizations you're connected to, 
All right, and then here we go. And then things you're following and groups. So that is, I want you to focus today on setting up your LinkedIn profile. Go and look at mine and take a look at some of the some of the strategies that I'm using in here and just kind of see that I've keyworded, see I got a good picture, see that I've popped some videos in here and do the same thing. All right. So get your profile as far and as big as you can built so that you're sitting at a hundred percent and then you're going to really start to be able to go out and invite people to follow you and you'll also be able to start to join groups and make an impact next time we're going to talk about the importance of joining groups and you can join up to 50 of them and what that means to you. It's where you can penetrate your target market in a much more comprehensible way and make, makes it a lot easier. So that's about it for today. Your, your job now is to go and complete your profile. And then next time we're going to talk about how to get prospects and how to join groups, what type of groups, where do you find them, and then how do you uh, individually communicate to these groups and start to make the impact you want to on LinkedIn. So again, my name is Tracy Rapchuk, and I'll see you next time.